Knowledge is power. Information is liberating. Education is the promise of progress in every society, in every family. I extend my virtual yet warm greetings to all of you. Saint Shavara, a visionary leader of the time, with prompt initiations for the spiritual and social progress. His educational contributions laid a strong foundation for a just society in which all human beings were worthy of erudition, justice, respect and dignity. He could do what many people together could not achieve even during the course of many centuries. For those who had been denied education, he turned to be an educator. For all who were deprived of books, he became an apostle of printing technology and an author by himself. And for those who had been denied knowledge, he became the disseminator of knowledge. His first revolutionary step in the field of education was the establishment of a Sanskrit school in 1846 at Mannaman. The order that came from St. Shavara in 1864 to start schools adjoined to every parish church was indeed prophetic and it brought a new dawn in the history of Kerala. St. Shavara walked ahead of others of his times by commencing the first congregation for women in 1864. And it opened a new era of educational revolution for women, increasing their resourcefulness, confidence and dignity. His desire to spread English education resulted in the first English high school of Syrians in 1885 and it continues to enjoy a very enviable reputation. In order to encourage the downtrodden families to send their children to schools, he introduced the midday meal scheme about one and a half centuries ago by taking contributions from the general public. This kind of a legendary legacy that he left behind in a span of 66 years still continues with over 1,200 educational institutions imparting knowledge to over 4 lakh students worldwide. The high literacy rate of present Kerala largely owes to the far-sighted policies as well as the impeccable foundation laid by Saint Shavara, very well known as the father of literacy. If poetry is the spontaneous overflow of powerful feelings, then he is a poet with an overflowing heart pouring out his feelings spontaneously. And these following lines give us a glimpse of it. As the lotus blooms or water lily rests, the babe reclined on the ocean star. As the signet on a lotus bed, him, the star of the sea, in her arms cradled. Saint Shavara is not only the pride of Kerala, but of the entire humankind. We cannot but marvel at this golden personality who stands out ever luminous in the field of education in India. The debt of gratitude that we all owe to him can be repaid by bestowing the right of education to everyone with the grace and blessings of God. Thank you.